Hello, hello, this is Peter Pagliotti of UNOT Studios, and I don't know, I'm here alone, maybe? Um, not sure, <laughs> but I have a busy day ahead, and uh, we set up a get-together at 2 o'clock, so hopefully uh, Dan's okay and, and everything's rocking. Um, I'm just going to hope that he shows, uh, but if not, I'll have to reschedule him. Um, so sorry folks, uh, I don't know where he is at the moment, uh, so I'll just, uh, continue on, uh, in the meantime. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, hey, give the channel a, a helping hand in getting there. Um, thank you everybody who showed up, Matt, Dory, Salazar, um, we'll just power on, now let me just check one last time, man, I don't see any notes, messages from him, so it is what it is. Uh, I'll just <laughs> do my show. Uh, hey, everybody. So this episode is all about Dan and Goblin Girl. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hope he, I hope he shows up. Um, I saw him, what was it, yesterday morning? Everything is becoming a little bit of a blur, but he was on uh, Shelby Robinson's channel, and um, for the for the brief time I, I got to watch it, um, it was very cool to see them both together hanging out, uh, and and they were saying they were going all night. You know, they're both West Coast. Um, and I think they did, they did a five hour stream, <laughs> which, yeah, it's like, I, I do want to do longer streams currently have a, a thousand things going on. Um, but I'm sure, uh, I'll be able to, uh, shortly with the with the right people. Does Dan have a channel? Uh, he goes by Boob Dan Art. So if you uh, search, search that, you'll be able to find him and his channel and share it out here. Uh, he's Boob Dan Art on Twitter. Um, not sure uh, what are the places he uh, hangs out in. But as you can tell from the cover, uh, he does really, really good art. Um, so I hope, uh, hope he's doing okay and maybe just slept late or maybe we each thought it was a different time. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, say no to anything at this point in time. Uh, f for those that don't know, I was just on Eric Fari's channel. I had, had a good time with him, good chat, catching up a little. Uh, he's been on my channel plenty of times, but it has been some time since uh, his last appearance here. So um, we did that this morning, and... 
I gotta get out of my way. Um, and we'll be streaming again next week on my channel. So you'll get to meet him. If you don't know him or his work at all. Um, and yeah, I got, I got some other people coming on. Oh, all you need to know right now is I set up a bunch of streams. I got two tomorrow. I got one Friday. What? Wait, what's today? Yeah. Yeah, I got two on Thursday. I got one on Friday, one Saturday, and then Sunday I'm, I'm going to do another open drawing stream. Well, open in the sense of uh, <laughs> I don't want too many people on. Uh, as it is, what do we have? Five, six people? Five people? Um, my my uh, ability to stream becomes compromised the more people that come on. <laughs> But Dan Pligo, if you hear my voice, come forth, young man, so that we can hang. Uh, but if he doesn't show, then, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll make sure to set up another stream with him. He's a great guy, very talented. Um, he's got a family, so, uh, his schedule there, you know, his schedule with them comes first. If anything came up, who knows? Who knows? Not the first time this has, has happened. Um, and like I said, I, I, I only started the stream because I, I got other work I got to do and um, rather than maybe streaming tonight with him or you know another time uh, I just had to get my streaming in for today so sorry my friends uh, but it looks like it's without Dan for the time being. Though, you know, if he, if he shows, then we'll just continue on as normal. If not, then you just, just got me. Unless, unless Dory or Matt or Frank wants to come on. <laughs> I can't find his channel. It's Boob Dan Art. Boob. B O O B. Boob Dan Art. As in boob. Because boob. He does what many would seem to think of as porn comics, but they're not. They're actually meant for kids. They, the, the, the women just have big boobs, uh, but no nipples, no, no nudity. Uh, pretty sure not, you know, it's fantasy, so it's bound to be violence, but not not bad. Hey, Allison, otherwise known as Alley Cat. Congrats on the 1K. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not at 1K yet. I'm close. Last time I looked, unless somebody went behind my back and 
I'm 919, which is close. Let me see if uh, my internet, sorry. Yeah, no message from Dan. Uh, I'm gonna just assume that at this point, he's not gonna show. <laughs> oh, I thought you hit 1K, my apologies. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you might have seen uh, my other video uh, where I'm sort of, I want to help promote other people's channels. Um, so I call it the 1K uh, su Subscriber Club. Um, and that's more so I can help other people get to 1,000. Because there's there's too many good people that aren't being seen across the, the YouTubes because they're not um, you know they got low numbers and I want to help help those uh, channels grow and Frank here has been. Uh, Sharing some of his own links, but we also shared Dory's. Uh, who's also here? Ah, oh, you're so sweet. Uh, one, you're enough. Just you, by the way. And two, I'm in Old Town at work. Love can't join. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I found his Twitter. Yeah. Boob Dan Art. That's him. And Dan Pleagle. YouTube link. Cool. I just hit affiliate on Twitch. Yeah, I saw, I saw you posting about that on uh, uh, Discord. That you gotta you gotta run through some hoops. <laughs> so congrats. That's awesome. Uh, thanks for everybody showing up. Um, <laughs> um, I just really, I feel really bad. Like, I know people were expecting Dan. And I really wanted to talk to Dan. Dan really wants to talk to me. Um, but, you know, I'm sure we'll get the answers later uh, and just take it from there. Like I said, I'm just going to stream. I'll stream for an hour. Uh, if he does show, then I'm completely open to whatever he wants to do. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, so Dory says, yes, I'm only 12 away from my vanity URL now. Awesome. So the link uh, Salazar has thrown in. Um, oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. And uh, Rick is here. Welcome, welcome. And I'm about to head to the post office to mail off this Phoenix piece. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking this is going to be a solo show. Uh, all right, so let me get in the mental state. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't prep anything. I don't have anything more than I had yesterday to talk about. Um, so.
So just working on the same page I was yesterday. Um, just trying to make. I got a lot of little things I got to do. I put going to post office is one. Um, doing a, a couple of commissions. I've got. I'm gonna watch over my friend's cats while she's away. She's. She, I just checked, touched base with her recently, and she's. Uh, I guess, I guess technically she's somewhere around the area where they're going to wind up. Uh, which is in Louisiana. But they're, not, they're not staying long. They got, they got today and tomorrow. But then tomorrow, at some point, they'll be driving back. So... <laughs> From Kentucky to Louisiana, that's like 13 hour drive. But I passed all that up to be here with you, my friends. Now, also because I, I, got, I got work commitments, I got stuff I got to get done. So I can't be going venting around. Ah, I hear a bell. I hear a bell. Is that good news? No, that's somebody else. <laughs> Do, 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 right. So, uh, <laughs> it's me bugging you. <laughs> yep, it's Allison's uh, Twitch link. Which I should be able to share in my own in my own chat, right? <laughs> Let me know it came through. Or I just post it. Allison's getting me. Peter's hopes up. Yeah, I thought it was Dan sending me a message. You know, I don't. It, I, I've had challenges with people setting up streams and then rescheduling, rescheduling, rescheduling. Um, everybody has a different schedule. Everybody has different priorities. Um, you know, and, and most of the people I do this with, it's like I can only reach them via their social media. And, uh, you know, so I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, calling up their homes, trying to track them down and all that. So I don't know until I hear back from them later. And as far as I'm aware, like Dan's got a day job, but he's off today, I believe. Um, <laughs> so uh cool so me po me posting a link in the chat works that's good to know um you're very welcome allison go follow allison on twitch uh and and yeah i mean it's called follow right yeah so follow her and check her 
check out her channel when she goes live. I also have a channel, channel there. Uh, the link is below in my video description for my Twitch channel. Although, pretty much if you go there and type in Peter Pagliani, it will come up. I don't stream there enough. Um, <laughs> my day job is Twitch and art in general. Yep. Cool, cool. I was supposed to have an audio meeting last night, but I think they had work to catch up on, so I know how that feels. Yep. <laughs> Allison is on the road to being a partner. That's awesome. So, yeah, because, because, uh, not because. <laughs> I want I wanted to set something up today, but I didn't I didn't have time yet. Um, in regards to my sort of one k subscription club, um, so let's see tomorrow I have two. Okay, so the first one I have tomorrow is with Global Frequency, uh, which is at one p.m. So I'm thinking be between all I have to do, I'll probably I'll probably have a, some time just to do something very simple, make some cue cards, and throw some links in in the description so that I can start promoting those that want to grow their channel. So, Allison, I'll, I'll make sure to include you because you're trying to grow your tw your Twitch. Um, I'll get Frank in there. I'll get Anna in there. But uh, Ellen, Anna ha doesn't deserve it. She's never in my chat. <laughs> Dory says, done. Alice says, you're the best. Yes, Dory is the best. Um, yeah, so I, I have my Facebook group, which is Create Your Own Comics Group on Facebook. And my post there. So I want to really start promoting those people that uh, posted their links and descriptions. Um, now, mind you, it is more about comic book makers and the independent comic book community than it is about anything else because that's what my group is about. And that's who I really want to support on YouTube. If I support everybody, then nobody wins. No, uh, <laughs> no, I'm really. I, I, I've I've been since before I, I began working in the industry, um, supporting creators and artists and writers, and I, I don't want to. I want to be more effective going forward. So that's why I thought up the club idea. <laughs> Frank, because she was one time. <laughs> That's when Gib was on and saying, hi, Amanda. <laughs> right, 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 right.
Uh, there was that, oh no, Anna's great. She's on the Taraco creative cast with Frank, a.k.a. Salazar Art Nation, if you're not keeping track. And yeah, they do a show together, what is it, Monday nights at 9? Uh, West, you tell me. <laughs> what is it again? I watch it 10 p.m., but that's my time. I think you go by central time or something. I should really have some uh, consistency to how I'm inking what I'm making, and I'm not. I'm like randomly doing one thing and then randomly doing another thing. Um, and I could do that because, you know, it's like I know relatively how I want to ink his pencils. Um, even, even if the last eight pages of this issue are kind of a different style than, than the first part of the book. Um, I do know how I want to approach, approach inking this. Yeah, I was right. Uh, Monday's at 9 Central. So, 10 p.m. East Coast. <laughs> uh, Taraco K Creative Cast. And that's the link. And this coming Monday, if you're into bugs, they got a bug cast special. It'll be eating bugs, talking all about bugs, um, torturing themselves. I mean... Uh, enjoying themselves I uh, would never even consider so good luck with all that <laughs> you, you know I watched you live last time um, and I like you know I like, I like watching shows live when I'm able to everybody you know does uh, live streaming all the time and it's hard to catch them all but uh, but that one I, I think I'll miss and uh, you still looking for your, a, a guest for next week You should have a Do you hear me? <laughs> I'm not sure how well I'm coming in, if I'm coming in at all. Uh, I got just one bar on my screen. Crappy internet. <laughs> Come on, one bar, go away, go away. Usually it's not there that long.
that's great that Keith will come on for a reunion, but not during the bugcast. Are you hearing me? Uh, stupid internet. <laughs> Okay, you hear me? Okay, the bar. <laughs> I was down to one bar. It show. It only shows up when the internet is not exactly working, and I'm not sure how it. I should actually watch the video playback to see how greatly it affects the stream. If it's just so slower, if I completely drop out, or what have you. Um, but, okay, so I was saying, like, you should have um, Dory or, or Allison on, you know, the week after the bugcast. If you don't have a guest, you should get one of them. If they're available, because, you know, you do your show consistently at the same time, so sometimes that makes it hard for people that are usually busy at that particular time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Allison said, sure. Uh, okay, I haven't been uh, putting everything on the screen, but here, here we go. Allison McGlone, uh, otherwise known as Alley Cat, she streams Monday, Thursday, Friday, three to five, um, and occasionally Sunday, two to four. Is that East Coast time? I think I think uh, it's probably East Coast time. And uh, Dory's got a secret message that she wants to send you. You can you can excuse us. It's okay. Wait, who's Dory? Uh -oh. <laughs> now, for those that don't know Dory, she's becoming enough of a regular presence. That people should be getting to know her, um, and she shared out my my stream on Twitter. So, I want to just personally thank you, Dory. I definitely appreciate that when people do that, because I could share out my stuff to I'm blue in the face, and you know. It won't get seen, but other people do it. Has more of a chance. And uh, Alley Cat, I'm just going to call you Alley Cat. Alley Cat uh, says, yes, East, East Coast time. <laughs> Frank says, cool. Dory says, ha, ah, no secrets, you're going to ask him. To be on a panel next Friday night for my diva show. Dwight is the coolest. 
Ah, okay, yeah, that sounds good, Dory. Oh, you guys love me. I love you too. Yep. You stuck with us. Do -do -do. So yeah, the 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 reason why like I was saying like if if Dan didn't show and it looks like he's not showing at this point, um, I was gonna do a shorter stream because I'm already I'm already feeling hungry. I had breakfast, late breakfast, you know. I mean, I only had cereal, whatever, <laughs> coffee, that sort of stuff. But I'm already hungry again. So I figured I'll grab essentially a late lunch and then go see uh, house, house sit <laughs> the other cats. Make sure they get some special food. Hang out with them for a little bit. Uh, this way, when I get back here, I could just focus on all the other work I got to do. Gonna get pages done, pin up done. So much, so much. Hey, EJB, welcome. Do you always break down your pages by what tool you, you are using? Uh, well, I mean, these were pencils by my friend Rich Fuchsia, so he broke everything down. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. For example, uh, I think I think I got the gist before I said what I just said. Uh, if you got your brush on, do you all do all the brush work on the page, all the tech part? pen parts at one time and all the quill parts, etc. Yeah, I thought, I thought that's what you might be asking. Um, I mean, yeah, you know, like if, if I got my brush out, um, like here, I could, I'm, I might do some of these action lines um, with my technical pen just because I want to, I want to make sure they're accurate as, as well as the thickness is exactly what I want it to be um, in certain points. And I could, I could do that with a brush. Um, it's a little more painstaking sometimes, uh, depending on the angle and length and all that jazz. Um, but I, I could be... I could be pretty good. <laughs> I realize I'm, I'm talking a little louder because my AC was on and it just went off. Um, I could be pretty accurate with the brush alone. But, um, yeah, I mean, for fine detail, like, the only thing on this page, and mind you, some of the tiny faces, I used, I used the thinnest technical pen for that because I have the, the most control and, you know, uh, using that, um, you know, I can also do that with a quill, but, you know, a quill, I haven't, haven't been getting good, super fine lines with it, so I don't even bother. Um, it's possible to, to do that, but, you know, maybe it's just the consistency of the ink I'm using at the moment. Um, but yeah, if, if I got my brush out, I do all, all brushy brush work. Um, I'm not, obviously not being super fussy about 
com sitting down and completing a page. I'm just getting work done. I'm just making more lines on a page <laughs> until I'm done. But uh, good question, AJB. Um, and we get conversation going on. Dory, if you're available, Frank, I'll be sure to get the studio link. Um, okay, good. Plan to stick with <laughs> y'all too, like the alien and alien on your face and making it weird. <laughs> Uh, Frank goes, yeah, it should be free. I don't have anything lined up that day. Um, perfect. hear me while this is happening okay are you or are you switching tools on the fly um i can switch tools on on the on the fly i still only got one bar um so let me wait for that to disappear <laughs> Damn it, what is up with today? Stupid internet. I hate weak internet. Oh, two bars. Wait, three, two? Yeah, okay, good. Okay. You should probably hear me now. Jesus Christ. Stupid internet. Okay, brusher, brusher, brusher. Yes, absolutely. I like using the brush. Hello, Matt. Hey, Dory. I was supposed to say yo. LOL. <laughs> I dig it when my friends come and hang and watch and listen and all that. I was really hoping to uh, chat with Dan, but we'll reschedule. Yeah, maybe maybe, uh, maybe he thought I was doing this at a different hour. Um, so, but for those following along or don't know, uh, my my live streams, I, I try to set them up in advance. Sometimes it's last minute, but you can always come to my channel and check. Just scroll down a little through uh, my various videos. Um, and there's a upcoming live streams section. And there you can see what time, what day, and like, you know, if you're Pacific time zone and you're looking at my channel, it show you, it should show you the time in relation to where you are. Uh, or so I've been told. So, so there's no guesswork. You could just look and say, oh, it's six o'clock. I'll be here at six. Boom, 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 boom. So, yeah. 
it's a lot of work setting up uh, future streams, making covers, adding details, <laughs> throwing links in there. But it's totally worth it because I, I love when I have guests on chitting, chatting about uh, their work and their inspirations and their process. It's all good. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, it does that, hun, for sure. Are you referring to my crappy internet? I think I think so. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I want. I, I dropped out a bunch of times uh, in this episode, so I will go back and watch this just to see how it is on your end, knowing what what's happened on my end. And if I should <laughs> pause in my conversation while I'm at one bar, or if it doesn't matter and it's just delayed, that sort of thing. Looks like this. <laughs> he made the boot with a toe in it. All right, leave it like that. And let's do this. So uh, here's something like. All these action lines, what they call them, um, more than likely I'll, I'll do repeatograph, uh, tech man to some. Um, and that's, you know, it's just easiest to keep them exactly the thickness I want them to be and to keep them parallel best. Um, sometimes, sometimes I do them with a brush, but for the most part, I like what, you know, the results that a, a tech pen can, can bring. Uh, sometimes I, I look at it afterwards and say, you know, I can at least thicken up the ends of it, the lines and just go in with a brush and, and sort of tighten that all up, make them thicker. And, you know, it's sometimes it's whatever, like what EJB was asking, it's like whatever tool is in my hand, uh, if I see something that needs doing, that dawns on me that second that, you know, it's like, hey, I should really do that little bit there because right now I have in mind to do something very specific that I might not remember later. So if I have a brush in hand, I'll, and it's not necessarily a brush thing, I'll at least start it. Um, and when I have the other tool in hand, I'll finish it. Because technically, I could ink <laughs> a whole page with just a brush. And I'm talking like 
panel borders and everything. Um, it would just take me uh, uh, longer. So, yeah, Dory said, my audio muted a tad a few times, but otherwise you're fine. Okay. Oh, the, the Pacific time showing correctly. Right, right. <laughs> and she says, by the way, I was interviewed for two hours yesterday. You missed lots of hysterics. Who interviewed you yesterday? And uh, Alley Cat says it, says the same thing I said. I've inked a whole page with a brush, yes. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, you know, it's like if all you have is like, you know, like um, <laughs> it's an extreme example, but, uh, you know, you when you're painting a home, and you have a thick brush. If that's all you have is is a giant thick brush to uh, to do what you got to do, then then you'll go in with the giant thick brush and make it work. Or or maybe you'll just take scissors to all the brits bristles and cut off all but one and use that. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I mean, lately I've been in more of a, a mentally a brush kick. Um, it's what I'm most proficient at. I, re I really get in the gro grooves with a quill, too. So it's just I'm not feeling quill really at the moment. It's not necessary for most of what I'm doing. And it's a different... It, different result it can be the same result like um i heard that uh, a quill is all that terry austin used i don't know if that's fact but i could see it and uh i love his work and he's his work is tight super super tight and beautiful gorgeous to look at Of course, I'm also talking about John Byrne, who's, you know, he's famous for inking over. Comic talk with Pals fans and welcome. Welcome, Pops. Always good to see you. Yeah, um, yeah, Russell Allen. So, is Russell Allen uh, also a comedian, or what is what does he do? And that I assume is the person that interviewed you. That's right. <laughs> uh, Frank goes, I inked a sketch with a matchstick and a sponge. That's right. Um, I did a few pages of my book using brush and acrylic black paint. Not remotely like what Peter would use, but it worked for what I wanted. Um, a black painted piece similar to what an inked comic page would look like. Not exact, but it worked. And everybody's saying hello, hello, hello. Um, I love John Byrne's art. Hate the artist. <laughs> well, you know, that's what I hate about today's society. Um, is 
you know, it's it's great that we can get to to communicate, like get closer to the creators themselves, the writers, the artists, uh, whatever you're into, like just seeing them online, talking with them. Um, but it's like, hey, if you don't like somebody, it's, that's fine. You don't like somebody. But, you know, it's like I, I just don't like hearing about people hating people uh, personally. Um, I, I, I met John. It wasn't a perfect uh, interaction because I wanted him to do a piece and, and he sort of like disappeared. That that's essentially that not because he <laughs> yelled at me or anything. Um, but it's like, you know, you really don't know people. You can't judge them on, you know, brief encounters. That's, you know, I have a whole rant about that. I'm not going to get into it, but, uh, I love everybody. <laughs> what I'm re really saying is, I love everybody. Everybody is perfect. Uh, so, yeah, R Russell is a writer. Cool. He also does a charity comic books for kids. Cool. Excellento. So, um, well, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So, I know I started a, little, started a little late. Not much late, I guess, when it comes down to it. Because uh, I have, like I mentioned earlier, I have other work I got to jump on to, and I couldn't really wait uh, for Dan because I, I did promise people that watching my channel that I would stream every day. And earlier this time right now is, is better than later for me. So I didn't really wait for Dan to show and just reschedule it for later today. Um, but you know, I will touch base and, and eventually track down Dan and, uh, we re will reschedule. Um, it's unfortunate that he didn't make it for this episode, but like I said, he's a great guy and, and, you know, I do want people to come back and check us out when we do go live together. Uh, I have lots to talk to him about, not only his creation. So I'll, I'll have to change the cover and change what I call it. Uh, I have no clue <laughs> what I'm going to call it. Um, I'll just put blank title here or something. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm going to get going soon. So, uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't already liked this video, please give it a like. It helps it get seen better across YouTube. Uh, share the video out like, uh, our friend Dory here. Uh, be like her, be great like her and share my videos out so that more and more people can see it and become fans themselves. Um, and sub to Peter Steckler. Why do, I, why do I know that name? Why am I blanking? Um, give him a little boost. <laughs> of course I'm a Donnelly man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it goes hooray for Dory oh that's right um, Peter Seckler aka M M Perian Val <laughs> from AAA that's right <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, right. Too many pitas. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm saying about that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I've, I've gone an hour here. Uh, I'm good for today. Uh, thank you all for coming out. I'll be uh, live tomorrow, twice, uh, one at 1 p.m. with uh, the... <coughs> Uh, now I have dry mouth. Um, global frequency, and uh, then in the evening um, with Dennis. I'll have to ha get how to pronounce his last name, but it's um, Gangni. I'm going to guess. I'm probably wrong. Um, who does a uh, comedic uh, web comic? You can find him on um, Instagram for sure in other places i'm <laughs> more likely uh, but yeah thank you everybody for coming out today um like i said i'll reschedule with dan uh, until next time be well be productive and